Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a Will Addict. We are about to watch the park finals of these World Championships of Roller Freestyle. We're gonna watch the female park finals of the World Roller Games 2022 happening right now in Argentina. So stay there and enjoy this. <laughs> Okay, we are in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I'm about to watch and comment the official live stream from the World Skate uh, Roller Freestyle Park Competition Female. We're gonna have 12 skaters competing. We have Thais Silva from Brazil, Natalie Bolon from Argentina, Maria Tejeda from Maria Tejeda from Argentina to Carla Pasquinelli from France, Maria es Escalona from Colombia and Mamie Yoga. These will be the eat one competing. We also have eat number two with Maria Munoz, also known as Maria Munoz, the world champion of street. She just won a couple of days ago, also here in Argentina. We got Nicole João from Brazil, Arnel Tiesler. She was third place. I think she was third place also in street. Carla Martin, the new vert skating world champion. Enerit Quincoses from Spain and Chihiro Azuma. She, she got second on the world championships of street skating. So... It's going to be quite interesting to see what's happening here. It's going to be two runs of 45 seconds and the best run only will count. So if you see them missing a couple of tricks, do not stress, they still have the other run. And if, they, if you see them landing a complete, perfect first run, expect them to try to risk a little bit more on the second one. Um, judges will be looking for difficulty, variety, execution, repetition, flow, consistency, and ooh, I can't even see what else they're going to be looking for. The use of the course. And the judges are, we're going to have Mr. Blake Bird from the UK. We also have CJ Wellsmer from Australia, Borja Fernandez from Spain, Sven Bukhurst from the Netherlands and we also have Anthony Avella from France as we can see here Bo Blackbird from Great Britain Borja Fernandez from Spain Sven Bukers from the Netherlands Anthony Avella from France and CJ Wellsmore from Australia all these judges are full-on legends these are people that have been they, they are amazing skaters every single one of them are amazing skaters and they know the difficulty of what's about to happen. So let's see what's about to happen. I'm very excited for this. A couple of minutes or maybe, I don't know how long it's gonna take still for us to, should be starting at any moment. Okay, and that is it. We are about to start with Thais Silva from Brazil. Giving a big hug to one fellow competitor. 45 seconds runs, two runs, and only best run counts. All the ramps here in, in Buenos Aires are pretty big. So, yeah, it's not the easiest park to skate, but they get plenty of air when they use the ramps right. So, expect to see some big airs, and when the ramps are used right, we can see amazing stuff. Let's see. Thais advanced to the finals in 12th place. And here we go. She drops in. Mute grab over the f that jump box. Ali topside porn star. Using the landing of that step up to come back with a nice rocket fish. That was a nice, really nice rocket fish brain. Sitting down. Grabbing it, holding that stance perfectly. Okay, 
Thais goes back to the initial spot. I'm sure the judges will not be very happy with this time that she stops. 45 seconds. She has 17 seconds to go. 360 over the jump box. Going for the transfer. Going to the rail with a signature sweat stance. 360 on the transition right in front of the rail. Another 360. And let's see if it does if she does anything else. And that was the run for Thais Silva. She did a good run. She didn't she didn't fail any tricks. She stopped a tiny bit on on top and on a vert on a on a park competitions. She might get a couple like the the result will not be as good as if she was flowing the park during the 45 seconds and the judges might that might affect a result, but she did a, a pretty good run in my opinion. We are about to have the first Argentinian skater on these final while we're still waiting for the results for Thais Silva. Thais' first run results were 73 and she's obviously right now in first. She was the first one to go. And let's see. We now have Natalie Rolon. Oh, nice. We did 270. Pexar Royale on that sub box. Trying to give you a better view here. Keeps on going. Oh, going for the wall. Or, the, or rather, the tops on that tall sub box. Didn't really understand what she was going there. Up on that initial quarter pipe. The ramps are high. It's very. It's hard to get in there. If you, if you lose a little bit of the flow, it's hard. So here she goes, to the jump box again, 360 over the jump box, transfer on the quarter pipe. She didn't use the rail or the box, going for that step up. She didn't quite clear the step up and 360 on that quarter pipe. And that was the run for Natalie Rolon. I don't think it was. she was as complete as Thais, but again, I'm not the judge, so... Let's see what the judges think of Natalie's run. Hopefully they enjoy it and they will they will give her a good result. So next skater will also be another Argentinian skater. Meanwhile, Natalie is looking to improve a 73 to get a better no, to get a to help a 73 to get into the first position, 73.0 was the result for Tay Silva. And we already have Maria Tejeda. She didn't wait for the result, starting with a big 360. Soul stall on that sub box, keeping the flow. Backside on the tall quarter pipe and going on the step. Oh, nice. Nice mute hair. She missed it up there. That will affect for sure the result of the run. I see Maria Tejeda. She looks like she's skating the USDA in flat setup. Having four wheels on the ground. 360 on the step up. Having all the wheels on the ground help on ramps like this to get more control, also more speed on their skates. And a nice top slow on the quarter pipe. That was the run for Maria. In my opinion, she did a good run. She had a, a mistake there on that sub box. I'm pretty sure she will be able to improve it on the second run. We still don't know the result for, for the previous skater. Meanwhile, we're waiting for the results for the two Argentinian skaters. So, Maria Tejeda looking to up a 73 from Thais Colares. She did a good run. She didn't stop through the whole run, which is very important in a park competition. So we'll see if the judges appreciate Thais Silva run where she stopped on top of the of the quarter pipe at a breeder before going into a second lap around the course or if they enjoyed Mar Maria Tejeda's run with a mistake but not stopping so we got, oh, we see the results now. 
So we got Maria Terreda in second place and Thais Silva still in first place. The judges enjoyed that better. We got Carla Pasquinelli. Oh, Carla Pasquinelli. She's a super powerful skater. She didn't have the best start. She kind of like overshoot that. She overshoot that. Step up. And yeah, I think that was the run for Carla. She doesn't seem like she will keep going. So Carla Pasquinelli, which is a powerhouse. She's an amazing skater. She got third in street. And she didn't took advantage of the first run, but she still has the first, the second run. As I said, 45 seconds, only best run count. So if you see them missing the first run, do not stress. And we already have the Colombian skater, Escala. Escalona. <laughs> we got Escalona waiting. She already has the result and Maria Escalona is about to start her first run also skating the USDA and seems like it's a very popular skate among the girls she's skating the Mary Munoz pro model and starting with the 360 mute a little bit of over rotation but she landed it still going on a step up with a clean regular air sweat stance transfer back foot came out and a little bit of of a, out of control over that jump box also missed the 270 topsail she's keeping the flow nice 540 on the quarter pipe wow that was a good 540 still keeping the speed nice another nice sweat stance now landing it perfect with both feet locked and sliding and going to that quarter pipe right next to the to the tall one which she went up and she's about to do another jump i think she waited too long and that was it nice front flip ah uh, not really but it was also out of time so that front flip will not count it seems like maria scanola escalona has all the tricks but she had a couple of she did a couple of mistakes on this run but i'm pretty sure she'll be able to improve if she i'm pretty sure she can get like a really good result if she can put them all clean Meanwhile, we already have the Japanese skater with third. I think she finished second, maybe third. Hmm. Was it Carla Pasquinelli in second and Mamie Yoga in? Well, we'll see. I don't really remember, but she was top three in street. Mamie Yoga from Japan. And here we go. Starting fakie. Oh, nice. With a fakie 540 over the jump box. That's a big ramp. That's no joke. And 180 on the step up. Fakie 540 on the quarter pipe. Nice. Half cap backslide to top sole. Kind run transfer. That's a very nice run. Sole stole on that sub box. Going up the quarter pipe. And there we go. 540, perfect 540 over the jump box. Wow. <laughs> Spin back side. Real 540 on the quarter pipe. That's a very, very, very good run from Mamie Yoga. Let's see if she lands the trick right now. And that seemed like a sweat stance. And that was a really good run. That is for sure going to put her in first position. And this is not a run that it's going to be easy to beat. Um, May advanced in seventh place to the final, but this could be a winner's run. That was a nice sweat stance down that box. This, this could be a winner's run. Let's see what the judges think about May's run, but it's for sure going to take Tai Silva from the first position. She put, she had some, she had some fakey tricks and here you go. 85.2 meanwhile Thais is already on top of the quarter pipe and about to start her 
second run. This is Maria Munoz, it's not Maria Munoz, it's Thais Silva going for the second run. And that was a nice 360, also a little bit of over rotation. I'll hit top side porn star, going on that quarter pipe. And once again, that really nice, really nice rocket fish brain. Going up to the quarter pipe. Let's see if she doesn't wait as long now as she did on the first run. And here we go. For the second lap. Oh, going for the misty flip. And that is it. She's not going to improve the result of the first run. So, Thais Silva currently in second place with a 73.2 wheel keep. 73.6, I'm sorry. She will be keeping that result. 72.8. I need to do something with my eyes. <laughs> sorry, guys. Uh -huh. We already also got the Argentinian skater, Natalie Rolon, starting with a nice 360. Once again, a backside stall on that sub box. Let's see what you got going on that. Can't grind to fakie on the quarter pipe. Keep going. Let's see, 360 to fakie on the quarter pipe. Let's see if she can keep the flow. Nice sweat stance on the same quarter pipe. Oh, and going down on the 360. She will probably not improve the result from the first run. It's, it's a very hard circuit. As you could see here, the ramps are very high. And once you go down, it's very hard to get the flow back. So that was it. She had a 53.4 on the first run. And it doesn't seem like she's going to improve it. We now have Natalie Rolon going. No, we now have Maria Tejeda about to start her second run. She had a very good first run. Very nice flow. Let's see. Starting with that non grab 360. Soul stall on a zap box. And there we go. Topside acid stall on a quarter pipe, keeping the flow on these big ramps. Mute air over that. Step up. Oh, missing the sole. That sole again. She's having some problems on that sole. There we go. Having the speed. Let's see what she gets here. Backside stall. She's going for the step up. And. That was a nice 360 on the step up. Quarter pipe. Nice top sole again on the quarter pipe. She did a very similar run to her first run. She also missed the sole run. So I'm not sure if she's going to improve that 64 that she had on the first run. Meanwhile, the Colombian skater. Oh, it's no, now we're gonna have Carla. Carla Pasquinelli, which had like not the best first run. I think it's Carla Pasquinelli who's, who we are going to see next. Yes, she's a very powerful skater from France who didn't have the best first run. She overshoot the the step up so yes Maria Tejeda didn't improve the result and here we go with Carla Pasquinelli full speed and now she did it nice no overshoot soul grind transfer going to the jump box and nice Aliu fish ran on that quarter pipe it is not the same to do a jump. Oh, nice 540. It's not the same to jump the jump box the way she did 
coming from the line or just starting from the top. I'm pretty sure the judges will like the way she did it, coming from a line and just doing the ramp. Now doing some technical tricks. Let's see what you got on the... She's going for the rail. Topside acid on the big rail. She's got 10 seconds to go. She is now choosing a more street skater's approach. Let's see. She has three seconds. Let's see if she can put one more trick. And fish brain. She kind of jumped after the timer, but I'm just sure the judges will be able to put it in. So she for sure improved that 14. Let's see if the judges think this run is enough to beat Mame Yoga or even to beat Thais Silva 72.8. I don't think it will be enough for May's run, but it might be enough to beat Thais and to get, in, to get her into the second position. And we already have also Maria Escalona from Colombia. We're waiting for... Okay. And Carla Pasquinelli having a 67.9. Not enough to beat Thais. And Maria Escalona is already on the course with a nice 360 mute. Wall right transfer. Going up. That step up. Oh, was that a boardwalk? It looked like a boardwalk with the front foot on the fish brain and the front wheel on the back. Oh, and missing that alley up top side porn star. She has a nice 540 here. Check this out. Nice 540, keeping the speed. And again, nice sweat stance. It seems like most women are doing amazing sweat stances. Doing another 540. So she's probably improving the result of the first run already, even if she repeated the trick. And let's see if she can put that one. Nice top sole down the curb. I'm pretty sure she improved the result of the first run, which she had a 60.4. So let's see if the judges think this is enough to take her from that sixth position. Amy Yoga is already waiting for her second run. She will be the last skater from Eat One. And we will have six more female skaters on this final. Once again, two runs of 45 seconds. And here we go. Maria Escalona, 69.74, bringing her to the third position. And now Mamie Yoga, the leader. She is right now with 85.2 in first place, but we still have six more skaters to go. Dropping in Fakey, which is backwards, doing a Fakey 540. Now transfer, let's see what she does up that. Nice 180. Fakey 540. Backslide to topsail. She's choosing the same tricks. Kind run transfer. Not as clean as the previous run. Now soul stall, taking a little bit too long on that stall. Let's see what the judges think of this. 20 seconds, and there we go. She's for the 540. Oh, a little bit of over rotation. Full cap backside royale on the quarter pipe. 540 on that landing of the ramp. Another sweat stance. She's doing the same run, but I don't think she she landed the tricks as clean as she did on the first run. So it will be different. It will be difficult for May to improve that 85.2. So the results of each one are in first place right now. We have Mami Yoga from Japan, Thais Silva from Brazil in second place, Maria Escalona from Colombia is right now in third place. And we still have six more skaters to go. And the six skaters to come now are Maria Munoz from Spain, Nicole João from Brazil, Arnold Tisler from 
France, Carla Martin and Enerits Quincoses from Spain, and Shihiro Azuma. We are now going to have Maria Munoz, which is the actual, the, the new street skating world champion. Carla Martin, also from Spain, which is the new vert skating world champion. And we got Shihiro Azuma from Japan, which is an amazing skater. Nicole João, which is a very known skater from Brazil. She has a huge, she has a huge following in Brazil. Arnel Tisler, she's been killing it on the FIS competitions. And Enerits Kinkoses, I think she advanced first to the finals in Vert. She ended up not winning, but that shows the level of skating that she has. So they're all going to be fighting or skating to beat Mame Yoga's 85.2. It's going to be a hard result to beat, but let's not forget that these skaters advanced to the finals in the first six positions. So we're gonna start with the skater that advanced in sixth, which is Mary Munoz. And we're gonna go from sixth to first with the last skater who advanced in first, being Chihiro Azuma from Japan. Two runs of 45 seconds, only the best run will count. And we are now watching the highlights from eat one. Six skaters on each eat. And we are about to go for eat two. We have a Japanese skating, a Japanese skater leading. A Brazilian skater in second place and the skater that we see right here from Colombia in the third position. Meanwhile, the skaters from E2 have been, are right now warming up and getting ready for their two runs. Ah, this is going to be interesting. Is it the young skater from Japan that is going to be the new world champion? I'm curious about this. We have half of the event, half of the women's world championships of roller freestyle park done. We have another half to go. So. This is the third time that this event happens. The first time it happened was in China in 2017. We had another one in 2019 in Barcelona. And the, Bar and the Argentinian one was supposed to happen in 2021. But due to the pandemic, they had to postpone it for 2022. And this is where we are right now. We are in Buenos Aires about to witness eat number two from these world championships world skate games happening in argentina women's park finals if you're curious the the next world skate games will happen in italy in 2024 and the curious fact is that this is now called World Skate Games, but if you want to watch the previous editions, they used to be called World Roller Games. Don't really ask me why, because <laughs> I don't know why, but I can tell you that they used to be called World Roller Games. But now they are called World Skate Games. We also had skateboarding on the last, skateboarding street on the last edition and on this one we had vert skating we had vert skateboarding vert slalom no slalom skateboarding downhill skateboarding but street skating is not a part of the world skate games in 2022 the ones we're watching right now 
can't wait for the second eat to start. Meanwhile, got a little bit more music here. Okay, here we go. You already see some skills in the course. We have Mary Munoz ready to start. 45 second run and here we go. Mary Munoz from Spain, the new street skating world champion starting with the 360 over the jump box. A wall ride transfer going to the step up with a 360. A little bit of a hang up there. Top side acid to back rail transfer. Ali Upsol. Oh, and she went down. Ali Upsol on the sub box. It's hard to keep the flow when you go down. She didn't really lose the speed too much. Like even if she fell, she... Nice Trumizu touching the wall a bit there. Of course, the judges will be paying attention to all that. When you're in touch where it shouldn't, the judges will for sure affect you. Sweat stands down the quarter pipe. 360. Let's see if the street skating world champion will bring another, of course. And that, ah, going for the Soyal down that box. Of course, the new street skating world champion would bring some more street skating tricks. She did more grinding. She's amazing with jumps too, but she, she wasn't as lucky on this first run. The best run will count two runs of 45 seconds. So she will still have a second opportunity. She actually advanced in a better position to the final than Mame Yoga, which is right now leading the board, meaning that all these skaters could actually be the winners. They're all amazingly good. And we already got Nicole Joao from Brazil. You see that she's nervous going from one side to the other. 15 years old skater. Advancing to the final in fifth place. It's been amazing to see Nicole evolution through social media. And let's, let's go. Nicole going for the 360 over that jump box. That was a perfect 360. Wall ride transfer. Wall ride back in the same ramp. Nice air transfer. Soul stall. Jumping the... Step up to the other side, soul grind on that tall sub box. And there we go. Aliup backs at Royale. Soul grind on that small piece. Let's see what you get on the nice X grind down the curb. She has 10 seconds to go and she chose to never stop. I'm pretty sure the judges will be really happy with this. Let's see what she gets here. Ah, she missed the last trick. I think she did a really good run. If you think that she didn't stop for one single second, she kept it going. But that last trick that she missed could be how she will improve her second run. But that was a really good run. Pretty sure the judges will like that. Let's see if it's enough. I don't think it's enough to beat Mame Yoga's run but probably uh, a run good enough to beat Tai Silva from Brazil, which is currently in second place with a 72.8. We are, uh, already have Arnel Tisler waiting for a run. You can also see her on the screens right now. While we wait for Nicole's result, first run result. As I was saying, it's been interesting to see Nicole's evolution. And here we go. Nicole is currently in second place with a 74.2. Just two years ago, we were watching Nicole doing her first grinds and a, a completely different level of skating. And right now, we see her competing against the best ones in the world, like Arnel Tizer, who just dropped in and did a really nice safety grab, a really high. Uh, then a transfer soul going full speed with a 360 on the step up. Going down, let's see what you got here. 
Backside Royale on that little flat part. Fake 360, that's a good. Nice, Mizu to top soul. 540, ah, oh, going down on the 540, the lags. On ramps this high, your ramps will, your legs will tell you right away when they're tired and you will see that on their skating. So, RNL Tisler going down and that for sure affects the flow. There we go. RNL was having an amazing run, but when going down, it's hard to, to get the speed back to keep the the tricks and the flow going, it's its really hard, especially on such high ramps. The ramps are really tall. So let's see what the judges think of RNL Tisler. It was cool the way that she was putting little tricks on every single ramp. You could see that she did a backside royale to the, to the highest part of that ramp and then a fakey 360 on the quarter pipe and then right next to it to me is the top sole down the rail. And that makes everything a lot more, can I say, a lot harder because she has very small time in between tricks. Will show more control. And she got a 63.4. So enough to put her in eighth place. And we already have the new Vert Skating World Champion. Carla Martin, she does a couple of amazing flips. So if you want to see some flipping good skating, it's about to start right here. 5.40, fakey five inverted, full cab, backside stall, and there we go. Carla Martin right now going to with a misty flip, more like a Barani, or like a very inverted, yeah, that's a misty flip over the jump box. 540 on the quarter pub. A little bit of an angle up there. Also skating on the USD ANs like Nicole was and also like Arnel Tisler. As I said, it seems like the the woman's favorite skater is this USD AN. And now the signature front flip from Carla. Front flip to Freaky on the quarter pub. That was an awesome run. She had a little bit of a, an hang up on that little, f on that 540 on the quarter pipe, but other than that, she had a really good run. Now, is that enough to take Mamie Yoga? Is that a 85.4? We will see. Mamie Yoga's fakey 540, which was her first trick, is leveling up for everyone else. It's hard. It's a hard run to beat. She didn't stop throughout the whole run, but Carla Martin's run was pretty good too. Other than, than that 540 with the foot staying in the back. Okay, 77.2. So Carla Martin is currently in second place. And Enerit Skinkoses from Spain is about to start her for her first run of 45 seconds. We have two more skaters for their first run from this round two. Oh, and it seems like she already started, but we didn't saw the first tricks. Okay, I missed the flip. Oh, she, she is missing that fish brain. Very powerful skater, as you can see here. Not that much speed after that stall going up the, the step up and make twist transfer. And then it's gonna need to to perform on her second run. Pretty sure she did an amazing run on the semifinals, and that's why she advanced second to the finals. But she wasn't able to perform on these. Park Skating World Championships in Buenos Aires. So she will need to get a better second round. That's a McTwist transfer. And right now we are about to watch the second Japanese skater 
we have a Japanese skater, Mamie Yoga, very young Japanese skater. I think she's 12. A very young Japanese skater on the first place after two runs. And we're going to have Shihiro Azuma, also from Japan, going for dropping in for a first 45 seconds run. Can already see Shihiro with the red helmet. Just waiting for the results of NLE team courses. And right after that, Shihiro will be dropping in for a first run. 64.7, putting her in the, s the ninth position. And Shihiro, one of the best female skaters in the world. I think she finished fourth in street skating and here we go nice 540 mute over the, that was an amazing 540 and the signature front side royale to topsail on the quarter pipe flowing nice alley-oop topsail flowing through the park 270 back royal on that super high sub box wow not that much speed and just going for the transfer and let's see what you get here on the step up not going for the step up trick, but kind grind transfer. She going for this trial. She's gonna put some technical tricks. Let's see what she got here. She's going for the rail or on the curb. Signature alley oop top side miss trial, and that is time. She finished three seconds before the end of the run, but this could be it. Is it enough for Mame Yoga? I'm not sure. But if not, it's very close. I think we're going to have a first and second place with the Japanese flag, at least after the first run of round two. Let's see what the judges think. Meanwhile, Mary Munoz. Already waiting to start in second run. Shihiro Azuma is looking for 85.4 to take Mame Yoga, also from Japan, from the first position. Let's see what the judges think. For me, who have seen more times Shihiro skating, it was interesting to see how she put her signature tricks, the tricks that I'm used to see her doing in in the park with all these big ramps while maybe yoga skating for me is all quite new. But here we go. 85.6. The judges thought the skating was better from Shihiro and we got the first place from Japan, Shihiro Azuma, second place, maybe yoga and the street skating world champion from Spain, Mary Munoz, Maria Munoz, is about to drop in for her second run. Maria Munoz is currently in ninth place. She's skating her signature skates from USD, and let's see. Nice 360, a little bit of a touch. Wasn't really the normal 360 that Mary Munoz would do. Again, there, kind of like letting one of the feet touch flat part alley-oop soul that's where she messed up on the first run let's see what she got backside long backside on the sub box transfer to go <laughs> she's more going for the fun of it just playing a bit that double backside with the grab and True Spin Mizu on the end rail. Four seconds to go. Can she put any other trick? <laughs> go with some breakdance moves. It won't be enough to take any of the Japanese skaters from first and second place, but it was for sure a much better run that she did on the first one. Mary Munoz has the skills, and she would have the skills 
to to do a very good result but when you start with one foot touching on the top of the jump box on the flat part you you feel it you know it's it's not the same so i'm pretty sure it was still it's still a good run she'll probably be in top six top five she will improve for sure the result but is it enough So Mary Munoz is currently in third place with a 78.8 with her second run. The judges really liked it. The true Mizu down the rail. It's so the judges seem to be enjoying the technical tricks on the rail. And there we go. Nicole with the 360. A high wall ride. Nice transfer there. And Soul. That was faster than on the previous run. Another Soul on the sub box. She's doing a cleaner run. Not standing on those stalls and on those grinds for as long. Let's see if she can get it. Nice X grind. Three seconds to go, and that was it. She couldn't make it. Sometimes you kind of lose track of time, and that makes it really hard. And in such such tall ramps, it ain't easy. I'm actually very curious to see the man skating here see if they can take advantage of these bigger ramps for those double flips here we go we got arnel teasler going for a her second run her first run didn't went as well as we are used to see her doing on the fees events Arnold Tisler is currently in 11th place with a 63.4 and here we go she dropped in nice forward there over the jump box Let's see what you got here 360 over the step up going down going for the back side Fakey 360. Mizu. Oh, she didn't put the switch up that she did on the first run. 540. Well, that's where she messed up on the first run. So nice 540 there. That's for sure a better run. On that fakey topsail or fakey fish run, she kind of messed up a little bit there, but it's for sure a much better run. Zero spin kind grind. And fakey 540. That was a good run. She put a couple of technical tricks on this run. She had a little bit of a a problem with uh with a fakey to topsail, but that was a much better run from Arnel Tisler. She was able to put that 540 together, that zero spin kind grind two, and then followed by a fakey 540. Now, is it enough for one of the first three positions? What do the judges think? She's looking to improve a 79 to get in the third position or 85.8 for first. The results for Arnel Tisler. Arnel Tisler results. We're all waiting for it. <laughs> Just 
Judges are taking a bit longer. And here we go. Arnel Tisler with a 74.8, putting her in sixth place. Meanwhile, the Vert Skating World Champion Carla Martin is about to start her second run. She's currently in fourth place. She was in third, but after Mary Vigneault's second run, she became fourth. So let's see it. Nice 540 over the step up. Fakey 540, much cleaner than on the first run. Full cap transfer. And here we go. Nice. Misty flip over the jump box. And like twist transfer. 360 on the second part of the jump box. Aliyup Mizu. 15 seconds to go. Let's see if she can keep the run going clean. 360 transfer. Full cap stall. And Signature signature front flip to fakie backside and that was it That was a good run. That was a really good run from Carla Martin. I Don't think it will be enough to take any of the Japanese skaters from her their position, but it may be able To recover that third place that she just lost for her fellow Spanish skater Mary Munoz, so Carla Martin's second run. She's looking to improve a 79. A 79 or better. She wants to improve a 78.8. Currently in the fourth position. And right after. Carla Martin gonna have ended its second run, and after that, that is King Cosses, and then Shihiro Azuma. So Carla Martin, 78, that was not enough to take Mary Munoz from the third position, so Carla Martin will stay in the fourth position, depending on what Enerit King Cosses is about to do on the... The cameras are keeping the, <laughs> the filmers are keeping the camera on Chihiro, and we we didn't saw the beginning of the run from Enerit. Let's hope we can see the beginning of Enerit's run. Oops. Waiting on Enerit. Okay, here we go. And then it's also scaling the USDAs. <laughs> Here we go. Front flip on the step up. That was nice. Going straight to a misty flip over the jump box. She doesn't. She decides to not put grinds when she goes over the coping on that quarter pipe. And little mute transfer over the step up. Oh, she. Lost the flow on that landing, McTwist transfer, and she went down again. It's really, 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 really hard to keep the flow going once you miss one trick. One bad landing and one foot that stays behind or or the pump not being done on the right place and it's 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 enough. You you lose the momentum and it's hard. To take advantage of such big ramps these ramps can be your best friend <laughs> if you're in the right position with the right pump and everything giving you lots of air for all the tricks that you that you need all that air time but they can be your worst enemy one bad pump and you're over it's hard it's hard to keep it going on such big ramps if you if you lose the flow and that is it. So I think we already have a world champion. She is Japanese. Her name is Shihiro Azuma. And she's about to go for her victory lap. Second run. And a victory lap.
for Shihiro Azuma. We're waiting for Enderitz Kinkos' result. But we already know who the world champion. We actually already know the first three positions. So 68.7 for Enderitz. And here we go. Victory lap for Shihiro Azuma. Just check that first 540. Let's let's see if she doesn't even improve what she did on the first run because she could. She started her first run with a beautiful, super high new 540. Let's see if she's willing to get better, to get a better run. Let's see. And she started with the 900. And that's it. Going for the signature front side royale to topsail. And she's already hopping her first run which got her to be the new world champion of skate park so let's see if she keep it clean if she's gonna get an even better result than she had on the first run see it here soul to Ali up top soul wow that was amazing i'm not sure if it's going to be enough to improve the result of the first run but she for sure got a couple of different tricks for us after what i said on the first run look at that 900 she was the only one to do anything like that on this woman's final so let's wait for the result And that was it. That was. These are the results from Roller Freestyle Park World Championships Woman Division. These are the eight best skate park skaters in the world. To all of you who watch it with me. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy watching these as much as I did. We saw some amazing skaters from this woman. And right next, we are about to watch the male competition. So if you haven't watched it yet, make sure to watch it. If you enjoyed this video, well, you can always subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you didn't like it, you can give me a thumbs down. But let me know in the comments what you didn't like. And like I always say, don't forget why we all started skating. And that is because it's fun. Now, cheers. And see you soon. So when